Hey, 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 hey. Vincent Sear here coming to you from literally inside the internet. What's going on? There's so many amazing things happening on the internet. I'm always on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm seeing all these cool things that people are making. Upcoming art, training art, ripped birds, jacked birds, Arnold Schwarzenegger birds. This is my show where I find the best of that and I share it with you. I'm Vincent Sear and you're watching Astro Astronauts Wanted. Okay. Uh, so today we're gonna be talking about how little changes to an image can make a huge difference. Small change, big diff. Check this out, there's a blog it's called Garfield minus Garfield. When you take Garfield out of the Garfield comics, it looks like John is snapped. He just like lost his mind. <laughs> Small change, big diff. Birds with arms. If birds had arms, would they just run around punching us in the face? Slapping you silly, they just fly, they do these flyby slaps where they just Hey, bitch. Mm. Oh, sorry. Celebrities without eyebrows. They're almost unidentifiable. I can't, I can't tell who that is at all. How do I look? Small, change, big, diff. On the artier side, is that a word? Artier? Paul Ubeda Ervas. He takes people out of the photo, but leaves their shadow. This is art. I like it. John Paul Douglas. Takes a pizza, puts it in the wild. Is the pizza real? I don't know. I just found this out. Pizza in the wild is real. This guy, he buys a pizza, he puts it on a pony, he he puts it on a satellite dish. He, this is real pizza. Wow! Like, how did you think? How did you think that up? Speaking of p p p pizza, Anne Aurel. She makes vines. Is that a pizza spinning in between fingers? I thought that was a loading sign. That's a pizza. I'm glad we're on the subject of pizza. Pizza's the new shoes. <laughs> I had this thought when I was in the shower, and I was thinking, <laughs> with all of this technology that we have, we're just looking at these th th three second loops of a baby dancing, of pizzas twirling around. So think about this. A hundred years ago, there were these things called kinetoscopes. Kinetoscope. And they were the animated gifts that people would pay to go watch. They'd l look in these little machines, and they'd watch like a video of old people like kissing. Oh God, look at that. We look back at this now and we're like, this is pretty simple. Like, I can't believe people went on their way to, to see this. Are people 100 years from now gonna look at us now and think, <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I guess it's come a long way since then. There's lots of us who are taking it to the next level. There's Romain Laurent. Romain Laurent. And he does cinemagraphs. Cinemagraph. They're basically still images with one thing moving, one thing's in motion. So, prime example of small change. Big, big, big diff. That was right, right? So, Roman, how, how, how new was the idea of cinemagraphs when you first started doing them? It wasn't new, not at all. Like, there's a photographer that basically got the medium out there like about two years ago. Most of the people in photography were, and even in the video world, we freaked out. We we're like, whoa. I really liked it and I was like, oh, I kind of want to explore with that, but I was not really sure about it. But the first feeling I had was like, there's so much more I could do with this thing. What inspires your idea? So I basically, I improvise. Like I go out with friend and I go with what comes to mind, which basically most of the time is stupid ideas. So the idea is like to go very fast. I shoot in about like less than an hour or 15 minutes. I retouch it in about an hour and then it's online. I try to be as high as quality as I can be, but if it's like technically a little glitchy, I don't care. Who would you say inspires your style or what inspires your style? I read a lot of comic books. I would say like a big influence for some reason is uh, Gary Larson, The Far Side. I mean, everybody. It's just I love how stupid it is like uh, stupid for me is not a bad thing it's like being stupid is like the best thing you can be right. and just like be okay with it what do you think is the future of cinemagraphs there's a possibility of like actual print being replaced by these you get this harry potter style thing where it's just like a loop of right. somebody just like looking slightly from left to right i'd love to go to a gallery and look, look at cinemagraphs that'd be cool I, I hope that's the future i hope so too do you think you can Help me make cinemagraphs? Yeah, yeah totally. Well, I'm, I'm, I'll be happy to do some. Well, Roman, thank you for joining me inside the internet. Thank you for having me. All right. <laughs> In the next section, don't say that. Me and Romain, we're gonna go make some cinemagraphs. Check out the next installment of Astronauts Wanted, which will be coming soon, and you're gonna see what we make. I'm gonna use that part. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Do you know of any awesome art that deserves a little bit more exposure? Let me know. Send us a tweet at Astronauts Wanted, hashtag AW Show, or you can send us a video response on Instagram at Astronauts Wanted.